I'm here with Ian. Thank you for having us, Ian. We're here with uh, you and your heat pump. So could you talk us through why you chose to have a heat pump? Sure. Um, for me, it was a, um, a, a sense of trying to do something um, to help the climate and help us achieve net zero. It's been quite a journey uh, over many years, um, a, a gradual uh, change and electrification of the whole house and the whole way we live. Um, actually starting way back in 2004 um, with the installation of solar thermal, solar PV panels, um, then the battery, um, electric car, um, ultimately leading to the heat pump which has been in for just over six months now. Um, and um, that ultimately led me to be able to remove my gas meter. So uh, now what we're trying to do is live completely uh, without any use of gas. Fantastic. Yeah. So have you seen any other benefits from having a heat pump? Um, yes, the, the biggest thing for us really was um, when we had the gas boiler we were actually just blasting the house in the morning and the evening so we had um, you know nice comfortable house and during those periods but now we're actually living at home and working have been working from home the whole time um, with the heat pump the heat pump is on nearly the whole day and it's just a low constant steady heat which has made the whole house just habitable the whole time so no longer do we have to wrap up in the middle of the day during <laughs> winter um, and um, so that, that was the primary um, fantastic benefit uh, but the other thing really is in conjunction with the other technologies that I've just talked about um, we were able to reduce the, uh, the energy bills as well so my energy bill actually halved in the first couple of months during the midwinter when we actually had this so you know that made a big improvement especially you know, with the cost of living challenges that we're all facing at the moment. Fantastic and any challenges either since it's been installed or during the installation process? Um, no, in the terms of the installation, it actually went extremely well. The installers were here just before Christmas and um, they were very experienced and um, knew what they were doing and went, it went in without any challenges at all. Uh, there were a couple of minor issues subsequently which were really very rapidly sorted out so I was really happy and, and happy to recommend um, the, the installers. In fact, a number of my friends have gone and I've actually used the same installers for their oh, in great. installation as well, okay. uh, which is really good. Um, another challenge I had was the fact that I had to get um, um, planning permission for this heat pump. There's some specific Welsh rules about siting a heat pump close to the boundary of your property. Um, so that took some additional time and expense, um, which just seemed a little bit bizarre really. Mm. Um, there's a myth that the heat pumps are very noisy, so one of the things that the planning application really focusing on is noise, um, which in my environment was just crazy because there's no houses directly close to us. But also the fact that modern heat pumps are actually extremely quiet. I mean, th this could be working now, you would not know it was actually on. Uh, oh, it's really? not at the moment, of course, because we're in the summer, but um, you know, if they are extremely quiet, um, I think they had a bad reputation from some of the early models. And um, you know, they were noisy, but uh, no, in terms of noise, Absolutely fantastic, no problems at all. Brilliant. And final question, would you recommend for anyone to get a heat pump installed? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for all the above reasons really, saving money, uh, making, doing your part for the uh, uh, getting to net zero and getting rid of fossil fuels and uh, just they're a better heating solution full stop than existing traditional solutions for heating houses. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much, Ian. Thanks for having us.